Okay, so this is going to be another day in a life type video. So it's currently 6am, I'm going to go have my breakfast, pick up my apprentice Tyrell and then I'm going to go to the job. So yeah. Okay, so I'm in my van now, about to go pick up Tyrell. I told him I'll be there at 7am. It is currently half six. So I'm gonna be a little bit early, but oh well. So yeah. <laughs> quickly go take a look inside see what I'm working with and yeah so just gonna go in now okay so these are the doors five doors all upstairs yeah so I'm gonna measure the doors and make sure the, the correct doors and then fit them and not every door every door upstairs yeah 30 by so, yeah. Even though the packaging tells me the size of a door, I always use my tape measure to double check because one time I got a door and it had the wrong measurements on the packaging. So from that day, I always double check. Oh, 27 and a quarter. Okay, so there's just one, there's just one that isn't the same. I bet that's the bathroom door. Actually, no. The cupboard door, she says a cupboard. Because I didn't come out and measure and purchase these doors, I'm gonna check all the frames and make sure they've got all the right doors for these frames. checking all the doors and frames, it's time to get set up. Now that we've got everything set up, we can now start on the doors. So I'm gonna quickly run through how we fit these doors. So first I check to see how plumb and level the door lining is using my laser level. As you can see on this one, the head is very out of level. I then measure the door lining and transfer my measurements onto the door. As you can see, because the door lining head was out of level, we need to cut this door at an angle. I leave Tyrell to cut the new door while I take off the old door. By the time I've taken the old door down, Tyrell has cut the new door and I can take that up. Because this door lining was also out of plumb, I need to mark it in various places and then plane it to suit the frame. Here, I'm just setting up the door magic grippers to keep the door stable 
while I plane it. I also needed to change the planer blade so that I get a nice clean cut. As you can see, the door's fitting a lot better. The head's basically perfect. I just need to do a bit of fine tuning and get that perfect 3mm gap. Here, I'm also using the DeWalt dust extractor to limit the amount of dust and mess. To be honest, I severely don't recommend for the price tag, but gets some of the job done, I guess. On this job, we had to take the doors up and down the stairs a lot of different times, always making sure we don't damage any of this beautiful wallpaper. Because there's nothing worse, rushing, damaging someone's wall, and then you have to pay. There's, it's, it's the most heartbreaking thing. Again, this door needed a little bit more fine tuning, so we're just scribing the head to suit the frame. Also, the floor's a little bit out of level, so I'm gonna scribe to suit the floor, and then get Tob out to cut it. While I was doing the final touches on that door, I'm starting the next door. And this is what the door's fitting like once Tyrell has done the final touches. As you can see, the door head has perfectly been scrubbed to suit the unlevel frame. So now I just put my 3mm packers at the top, wedge the door up and then mark off the hinges. And then Tyrell will be routing the hinges out while I work on the next door. Now that Tyrell's routed out and put the hinges on, I can now put the door on the frame. While I'm doing this, Tyrell's sorting out the other door. By the time I had the other door swinging, Tyrell had already routed out the hinges for this door. So I can just now get this door on the frame as well. Here, I'm just using a 3mm packer to check that the gaps are all 3mm. Now that we've fitted two doors, I decided to get Tyrell onto fitting the latches and handles because he needs the experience points. So here I'm just teaching him how to do them, giving some pointers and then I'm going to leave him to it. So now that the two doors are basically fitted, Tyrell's just going to do the handles. I'm going to work on the next door, prep it, do everything outside. This door's going to have a lock, so I'm going to mark out for the lock, cut it outside and get all the rest of the doors fitted. So the video doesn't get too long and I'm not just repeating myself. I'm going to do a little edit here and show you what it looks like once the job's done. And I'll also tell you how much I charged for this job. So yeah.
and here is today's job done so today we fitted the four doors we was meant to fit five but they didn't have the right measurement for the cupboard door so we have to come back and do that door for this job i charged 65 pound per door and having four doors it was a total charge of 260 pound and it was only half a day today so it was fairly decent me and Tyrell worked in perfect synergy with each other so I was pleased with that it isn't the most money I've made in a day it isn't the least money I've made in a day but I'm happy with today it was a good job the customer was great and I got more work out of it so can't complain so right now I'm gonna put the hooks back on the door the apprentice is gonna clean up and we're just gonna get going if you did like the video please consider liking subscribing it helps out a lot and i'll leave my contact information if you're in the uk and want some work done contact me through whatsapp on the wheel and she was driving and she was literally like this on her phone uh, no jerry like going full like yeah. 30 miles an hour yeah raw that is bad uh can i get a big tasty meal please medium uh yeah just a medium no more big tasty or bacon or spicy? Uh, normal, without bacon. Without bacon. And what drink would you Uh, can I get a Fanta? What do you want to? The same with halloumi fries. Can I have the same with halloumi fries? And all this. Halloumi fries, please. And as for. And, uh, yeah, and a okay. normal medium fries. And you no, that's it, thanks. And apple pie. No, that's it. Uh, ketchup, please. Apple pie. I ain't getting an apple pie. That's it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bro, <laughs> I could literally pay for my apple pie. No! Which, which bro? Okay, think of it like this. You was gonna pay for my food anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like it a love it is double or nothing. You ain't getting money, then you bugging them fat. You know, I'm a hug it, lows by the truck. Up the budget, cash in the den, damn I'm a bucket OD, you know how it does it If it ain't Moolah, we cannot discuss it Her name ain't Erica, she finna bust it Her name ain't Mega, but yeah, she a stallion The way that we dressin' ran out of Italian New chain bustin', peak the medallion Pull your own troubles out by the gallon Her name ain't Lotta, but she from the south Her name ain't Ruby, she got a big mouth Puttin' it in, she stickin' it out Puttin' it in, she stickin' it out She like salsa, one in a hole Just like a golfer, if you ain't leechin', what can you offer? Thank God it, they just be talkin' Thank God it, they just be talkin' They gon' tell you what you wanna hear, yeah, put you in it